My name is Brian Alcazar. I'm a senior lead analyst at Rockstar Games. I go by FIRST on Instagram. Um, it's an abbreviation of FIRST Instinct. I was born and raised in Queens. Both my parents are from the Philippines. A lot of my creative vision comes from my mother. She was an architect. My dad was a really hard worker. He came here basically with nothing and created a great life for me and my family. The first time I noticed that I liked taking pictures was probably in the car scene. That's when I first started to notice angles, perspectives, composition. The thing I like most about photography is that everyone's vision is very different, it's very diverse. I like the individuality in that. I'm more of a street photographer than anything. Uh, it's very rare that you'll catch me with a model or reflectors or anything like that. I just like to walk the streets with my camera. I like when pictures are very natural and unforced. My favorite subject is the people in New York City. You can see in, in like their faces and what they wear, like they all have a story to tell. I, I think with my photos, I, I just want people to wonder about a scene. I like to leave a lot of my pictures open to interpretation. I, I avoid captions a lot on Instagram especially because I just want the viewer to determine that story themselves. I don't think anything's cliche. I think everyone should just shoot what they want. If you like shooting skylines, do it. If you like shooting perspective tunnel shots, do it. The word cliche, I don't like it because it, it just hinders you as a creative. Um, when you start worrying about what's cliche and what's not, you're limiting yourself. I, I think like you should always just shoot whatever you like. Whatever that is, just do it. I like sunsets as much as the next person. You know, I'll, I'll shoot a pretty sunset too, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. I usually just leave my house with one body, one lens, and that's what I work with for the whole day. I primarily shoot with a Sony a7S. I picked it because of its low light capabilities. I like to shoot at night. Its high ISO performance allows me to do that pretty easily. I also have a Leica Deluxe, which is just, you know, a smaller Leica that, you know, when I don't want to carry around a bigger body, it's just easier to use. Especially street photography, you know, cameras, lenses are not really all that important. It's more about content. Uh, for me, content is always more important than anything, uh, especially in street photography. You don't always have the time to get the right angle. You just have to capture the moment. First and foremost, as an artist, I think your responsibility is, you know, create your vision and share it. I think with social media, you know, photographers have been given a little more responsibility because we're also influencers now. I think in, in some ways that could hinder us if we worry too much about being politically correct or whatever. You should always, as an artist, just share your vision unbiased. You shouldn't be afraid to make mistakes. And you know, when you start feeling those pressures of, you know, being politically correct and, and worrying about, you know, what other people think, you start to lose what made you a photographer in the first place. Your primary responsibility is just be yourself. I definitely tend to turn the temperatures down a little bit when I'm editing. It's a very New York thing, especially at night. You know, the, the street lights are very orange. It changes the feel of what I'm actually capturing sometimes. That, that orange, that strong orange, that New York City lamp orange. Sometimes it works and I leave it, you know? But uh, a lot of times, like, that orange like washes out details in the pictures, I think. And when you turn the temperature down on that, those details come to light more, I think. But sometimes it looks great. Sometimes that orange looks moody, it looks New York, and, and sometimes you don't want to mess with that formula. My favorite picture is actually a picture I took of Kanye West. You know, he was just sipping on the champagne, doing this interview, and you look at his eyes too. It, it was a candid picture, and you could see in his eyes he was thinking about a million things at once while he was doing this interview, while he was sipping champagne. I mean, that was just Kanye to a T right there. And that, like, currently that is my favorite picture. What makes me want to shoot a lot, it's, it's little things that you're not always paying attention to. Like, you know, you'll walk by all these stores. There's so many people here and there's a million stories on every block and we're just missing all of them. And I just feel like, you know, as a hobby, it would be cool to just share that with the rest of the world. In my own way, I just want to be remembered as a New York City street photographer that captured life candidly and unfiltered.